avid readers. How are you today? I'm so excited, friends, to see you back once again and to let you know that it is March. Friends, today we start a new month and we also start a new unit. I know, I know, I love new units. I love it too. Friends, when we start new units, we learn more things. And just like on Friday, when you were watching one of my friends, she's one of my best friends, and she was telling you all about acting it out. Do you remember that with not Norman? Yeah. Who remembers getting up and pretending like you're pulling your fish? And remember, you were not excited. You were kind of, hmm. And then you were showing it in front of the class and then everybody started walking away and you were like, hmm, angry face. So just like avid readers read fiction books, we also read nonfiction books almost in the same way. Oh, what's that? What's fiction? What's nonfiction? No worries. So I have here an image that'll show you what does fiction mean? Friends, fiction means that it's a story with characters and places and things and objects, things that come from our imagination. That means it doesn't necessarily have to be about real life. It could be a talking dog like Clifford, or it could be about a flying toaster. Friends, nonfiction is something that we read for fun to learn about the world, like Cinderella. You'll learn more about that today. And we have nonfiction. So nonfiction is books and articles about information that is true about our world and everything around us. Like when we learned about worms, that's nonfiction because worms are real. They're real things in the real world. Just like we became avid readers with Not Norman, we're also gonna do that with our new nonfiction book, our information book about honeybees. Look at that beautiful bee. Oh, he looks so cute, cuddly. And before we start reading, I actually want to share something with you. Our new anchor chart says, avid nonfiction reader. That's us. They think while they read. And a lot of the times they think, wow, because we have so much information in these books that we didn't already know that we're going, oh, wow, that is so cool. Or wow, that's interesting. So you always think. What do you think about what you read? And then avid nonfiction readers also ask questions. For example, when we're reading this book, friends, Honeybees, we ask, huh? Why? What happened? What is that? Where is that? When did that happen? And to show you what I mean, I have a friend who's joining us and thinking out loud as we watch a video together. I want you to listen to what she thinks and I want you to say, hmm, are you thinking the same thing? Come on. The Venus flytrap. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's growing. Wow. Like the sun do. It makes itself very attractive, oozing nectar across the brim of each. Mm, I wonder what that is. But any visiting insect better watch out for these six tiny hairs. Uh-oh. Those look pointy. Look dangerous. This fly has to tread carefully. If it strikes one hair, it can carry on feeding. Uh oh. But a timer has been set. Wonder what that means. Timer for what? A second strike in less than 20 seconds and the fly is doomed. Oh no. Oh. The fly is trapped. An electrical impulse is triggered and the leaf snaps shut in just a fraction of a second. The tips lock together. 
together like prison bars. Oh my goodness. I wonder if they'll ever get out. If the fly is very big or very small, it may just manage to escape. Oh wow. But most are trapped. And die. Uh oh. Wow. Did you think that too? I had never seen a Venus flytrap so close before. I had heard of them, but they are really cool. And just like the video, my friend said out loud what she was thinking. How did that happen? It looks like it's growing. Wow. And to practice today, you and I are going to do that to honeybees. Are you ready? Honeybees. A Martha Rustad. Honeybees have stripes. They do. They do have stripes. I never noticed that before. I just thought they had dots. Wow. Honeybees have two antennas. One, two. And look, the picture shows it to us. That's cool. Honeybees have four wings. I did not know that. Look, one, two, three, four. Wow, that's cool. And friends, for reading today, I'm gonna post pictures of the last few pages of honeybees. And I want you to think out loud as you read them, okay? You don't have to record yourself. You don't have to take a picture. I just want you to promise me to think out loud. Have fun friends reading all about honeybees. Bye.